Hello and welcome to the SeaScart video tutorials. My name is Sergey and with this video we begin a new series in SeaScart tutorials. In this series we are going to speak about everything that is related to the products. Categories, product lists, options, product settings and so on. Let's roll! First of all, we are going to speak about the categories, places where the products are contained. We can find them in Products, Categories. On this page you can see two fields, the main field, the category tree and the right field with uh, the statistics. Let me explain the hierarchy of this tree. The main categories are highlighted with the grey line like electronics, sports and outdoors, apparel and so on. Lower subcategories are located a little bit to the right of the main category like computers, car electronics and so on. And the lowest subcategories located a little bit to the right of the lower subcategories desktops, laptops, tablets. In these categories the products are stored. Here you can see the number of the products in uh, this subcategory like desktops contain four products, laptops four products, tablets six products. That's it about the hierarchy. Now let me explain you the meaning of the columns here. The first column is the position. By changing the numbers in the position column you can change uh, the position of uh, subcategories inside their category. Uh, for example, you can exchange laptops with desktops, tablets with desktops, uh, networking with laptops and so on. But you cannot move them from the lowest subcategory to the lower subcategory and you cannot uh, make the subcategory become the category. For this you need to go uh, inside the category settings and change it accordingly. I will show it later. The second column is the name. By clicking the name of the category you will be able to edit it. The third column is the products. It shows the number of the products inside the category. For example, desktops contain four products. And the last one here is the status column. I think active and disabled statuses are clear so turn on, turn off and hidden. You will be able to reach your category by the link only. Uh, you can hide it from your customers, but uh, by using the link you will be able to see the changes you make, for example, inside this category. So you don't want to show these uh, changes uh, to your customers now, but you want to see them for yourself. So you use this status. That's it about the columns. Now I would like to show you how the category tree looks on the storefront. So let's go to the storefront. That's how the category tree looks on the storefront. Here we have the main categories. Here lower subcategories. And under the lower subcategories, the lowest subcategories. Uh, let's go inside the lowest subcategories and uh, take a look at the products. Okay, as you might remember, uh, we have four products inside uh, the desktop uh, subcategory. Here we have four of them and uh, the products page is the lowest uh, page in the category tree. Home, electronics, computers, desktops, the products page. And I would like to tell you one thing. Actually, all the products are contained inside the lowest subcategories, not inside the main category like electronics or inside the computers. The desktops contained inside the desktops category. What does that mean? When we disable one of the settings inside of uh, SysCart, we will not be able to see the desktops here in the main category or here in a computer uh, subcategory just like we can see them now, we will be able to see them only inside the lowest subcategory, the desktops. It's a small hint for you. You can use it or not use it, uh, it's up to you. Now let's go back to the categories page. Now let's take a look at the right part of the page. 
here we have all the information about the number of the categories, the number of the products, the number of the active categories, hidden categories and disabled categories. I think that's clear, yes? After we change something here, like we make this category hidden, the number is changing. If again, okay, what is more important here is these buttons. Plus button allows you to add the category. Yeah, just like this. You can give it a name, change its location. Uh, by the way, you can make it root level or make it uh, the subcategory of the electronics or subcategory of the computers, apparel, books and, and so on. So you can um, change its hierarchy just uh, right in the process um, of the creation. You can add the description, change its status, for example, you want to make it hidden for now, just after you created it and uh, you didn't add any products. Okay, choose an image for, the, uh, for it, enter the metadata, I will be speaking about it later, change its availability, well, uh, we will be speaking about the settings and options of the categories later in the next video. Well, let's go back and uh, the gear button, yes. Here we have the bulk category edition. So you can add lots of categories at once. You can change its location, choose the name, the user group, for example, available only for guests or registered users, or for all, position inside the subcategory, status, and you can just click add, 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 or clone them. Just if you enter the name, for example, um, games and click the clone button, yeah, as you can see, the, the previous category cloned just right with the name. Oh, if you change its position, office supplies, that's not important now. Yeah, clone, office supplies, games. This, uh, this is a really useful tool if you want to create lots of categories, create a new structure and uh, build a new tree. Use it as much as you want. Now let's go back. Let's leave this page. Uh, now let's speak about one very useful tool. Let me choose some of the categories. For example, desktops, monitors, processors. That's not, that doesn't really matter. Okay. Ah, by the way, this gear button. You can add products straight to the category by clicking this button, you can edit the category or delete the category. So don't forget about this gear button. Uh, but I'm going to speak about other thing. Well, edit selected. Here you can choose what you want to edit in uh, the chosen categories. Uh, for example, I want to change its meta description, like this, meta description. I want to change its meta keywords and SEO name. Yes, I want to I want to prepare them for the search engines. Yes. Modify. And here on this page, we can change uh, the information for all of the chosen categories for the desktops, monitors, and processors. Well, meta keywords for the desktops RAM, yeah, hard drive, and so on. That doesn't really matter. Meta keywords are the tags. Here, monitors, size. Display, I'm sorry. Inch, resolution, and so on. Okay, and processors. Well, I don't really know much about the processors, so uh, I don't know. Fast, steady, nice. Something like that. That doesn't really matter. So, um, what can I add here? By using these two added selected categories, you can change uh, the information for all of the categories at once in one page. For example, you want to change uh, the, uh, the meta keywords for all the categories. You just choose all the categories and just one by one enter the meta keywords and you don't have to go inside uh, the category settings and change uh, the meta keywords inside it. So you can make it all on one page. 
this is really really useful and uh, it can save you a lot of time so don't forget about this tool and the last one button on this page is uh, delete selected well I will not show you this because I don't want uh, my products to disappear yes when you delete the category the products inside uh, this category also will be deleted so be careful when you delete your categories this was the first part of the categories video in this video we spoke about the general settings of the categories in the next video we will be speaking about the individual settings of each category thanks for watching and see you in the next syscart video tutorials